everyone, and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Now today we're going to take a look at Crossfire, Rival Factions. And this is a free-to-play, uh, tactical, first-person shooter MMO. So let's get started. You can see we've got different servers. We're going to go ahead and jump on the rookie server because I haven't played this game too much. I have played a little bit. You can see I've got a little bit of a record there. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this busy channel. And you can see there's a bunch of different games going on. You can scroll up and down and see the different games. But let's go ahead and we're going to take a look at these challenges. You do have these different challenges and it's kind of cool. They've got these daily missions. And, and they have these daily missions set up essentially so you can earn more of the, the GP. Which is kind of cool to be able to you know do two wins on the, search, the search sub base, search and destroy, or four games. You know, all these different things. So let's go ahead and look at my info. You can see here I'm on my way to my next rank. And it does do use a rank system. You can see my kills to death, my wins and losses, honor, my GP, my ZP. So you can see I've got about 36,000 I have spent a little bit. You can also see here all the different players in the game. So you can see whether you've got friends online or, or whatever. And you've got your chat down here. Now let's go into the black market. You can see here you do have these different crates that you can get. And inside the crates there's a bunch of different items. You know, whether it's the rose crate or, you know, Easter. They still have Easter crates, which is like two months ago. So <laughs> they, they are a little slow on, uh, on taking out their kind of holiday crates and stuff like that. But you also have these GP crates that you can, you can earn the GPs essentially through running the different missions and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Each mission that you do, whether you win or lose, you do earn some GP. Obviously, you earn more if you take and you win. So it's kind of cool to see those. Now, the one thing that's kind of a disappointment is you can see, like, these are all the items that come in this crate. And, I, you know, it says 2,000 GP. So, you know, I'm very interested because, you know, I, I like, I you know, I want some of this stuff. But it doesn't say anywhere on here what the rank is. So I just have to go purchase and I go buy. And it says, you know what, you're not a sergeant first class, so you can't buy this. So it's like, you know what, listed somewhere on here at least you know, exactly what rank I, I have to be to, to purchase it. Now, maybe I'm missing it. and One of you guys can tell me that I'm an idiot and it's right here or right there. But you know what? I can't see it. So if one of you guys knows exactly where it is on here, tell me in the, in the comments. Now, you go into the storage. This is actually your inventory. So you can see all the different main weapons you have access to, all the sub weapons, melee weapons, throne and stuff like that. And you can see here's the different characters. Now you can actually purchase different characters. You can purchase stuff for the head, the upper, the lower, like body armor, and things like that to help you last longer in, in your game. You can also get like little fun little items like bunny ears and stuff like that. We're actually going to take a look at that stuff real quick. Now here's the actual item shop, not the black market. And this is a little bit different because you can go in here and you can, you know, there's an Easter egg grenade. And I'm doing this in the middle of June. Uh, recording this video and they still got an Easter egg grenade so kind of weird but whatever and you can see here's the here's the actual main weapons and you can see these actually have ranks on them so if I want to purchase you know dual Uzis for seven days I actually just go here and you can see I can't because it costs EP so you can look here and you can say I can get the K1A and it costs 35,000 that's gonna pretty much deplete all my money so we're not gonna do that but you can see the different prices. You can also see there's the subs, the melee, the throne. But here's the character items we were talking about. So we can get like this, this tiger head and run around like that. And here's some of the other characters you can pick up. And here's some of the different items you can get. You can get like green muzzle flash or different things. So it's kind of cool the way they did that, that system. You got all kinds of different stuff set up like that. But let's go back and let's jump into a game real quick. You know, it's a, it's a first person shooter, so there is no character customization. So I did a little spend a little bit of time on the item shop. But let's see if we can find a game that's actually partially full. And you can see they're laid out, the HN, the TD, and stuff like that is showing you whether it's, you know, Team Deathmatch or all that stuff. So let's jump into this rookie battle, Team Deathmatch. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right now until we get inside because the game will crash because it doesn't like fraps too much. So I'll see you guys on the other side. So there we go. We're actually in the game and we're in the ship. And there's my team. So let's head out there and see if there's some of Oh, I was about to take that guy out, but he got taken out. About to take some of those guys out, but they got taken out. So they're all going to be back in their base. And uh, let's go ahead and throw a grenade at where they usually come out of. Oh, no, instead, I got whacked with those guys right as I came around the corner. So let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. And there's a lot of little places like you could jump up in there and stuff like that. But that, that one actually wasn't my kill. I keep getting nated, damn it. But as you can see, the graphics are a little bit dated, and you know what? that's okay. They're just they're just taking and they're trying to keep it open for a lot of you know, 
the dated, dated graphics sometimes just means that you can have more players, which isn't always a bad thing. Oh, a little double kill right there. So I actually thought that last game crashed, but we actually did win. So here we are back in the lobby. You know, I was talking about the data graphics. You guys did get to see a little bit of that. I'm going to jump into another game here shortly, but I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, the graphics are a little bit dated, but you know what I've found is that sometimes when you have those graphics just a little bit behind the times, there's just more people that can play it because there's more, there's more systems that can run the, the actual gameplay and stuff like that. So it's not always a bad thing. And, and you know, overall, as far as the gameplay is concerned, the maps are really tight, so the games go quick. Um, and, and the game overall is, is, is really pretty fun. So you know what, I'm going to jump into this, this sewers team deathmatch. Uh, you know what, I'm not, because it's all knives. I'm not interested in doing that. So that's waiting. Let's see if we can find another, another game that's uh, search and destroy ship. You know what, let's jump into this one right here. So I'll see you guys on the other side. So there we go, we're in again, and this is very early in the game, you can see up at the top in the middle, four, four, and four kills and four kills, so each team has to get to 100, so we're going to run around and see how we can do it. So let's, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can't take out some of these guys. Let's see where they at, there's guys there. Like, see, there's a little, it's a little hiding spot right there, and I was busy trying to show you guys that, and I got waxed. So they've got a couple little hiding spots like that, that you can take and you can, you can hide in and, and, and sit there. And, uh, and there's another one that's up there. You can see one of our guys actually just got grenaded off of it. There's another guy behind me just waxing me. And then I turned around and his buddy just took me out. So let's see if we can, uh, we can do a little bit better. There we go. We just saved our, our uh, teammate's life. Let's see if we can go take out some more of these guys. So let's see. And I got one-shotted by an M4A1. Must have been a headshot because he didn't hit me that many times. He just one-shotted me. There's grenades going everywhere. Let's see if we can take that guy out with a grenade. No luck. Let's reload. And it's a typical, you know... There we go, we got a headshot. Double kill. Oh, but we got taken out from behind. Because my teammates are doing a horrible job. There we go, at least we took that guy out before he took all of us out in our base. So, let's see if we can do a little bit better here. Bounce that around there. Oh. See how we're doing. Four and five, we have to do better. We can do better. Let's do better. Alright, so... But you can see, I mean, the, like I said, the maps are, are not that big. They're pretty small in size. They're not ex they're not exactly meant for long games. They're meant to quickly. And I was just a horrible shot there while I was trying to explain something to you guys. They're meant to quickly run you through and, and make these games quick. You can see we're already, you know, about a third of the way through the game. So it's not it's not meant to uh, wrong button. And I went back to my knife. Awesome. So, let's see. Which side are we on? We are on the losing side. We're down by seven. So we're going to have to jump in here and, and play a little bit better. I can't hear anything because... Let's go. Let's run into their base. And of course, I ran out of ammo trying to take that guy out. So, I am sucking it up. My kill to death ratio isn't even as bad as I'm doing right now. I'm trying to explain stuff to you guys and things like that. So we did get that kill, so that helps. Let's see if we can run around here a little bit. Take some guys out. That guy was reloading at the same time that I was. And then I got taken out by two guys. But at least redeem myself a little bit with two kills. So now let's see if we can this time get ourselves to about even. At least I showed my guys that they were there. <laughs> but we didn't get any kills and we just died. So we're seven and seven and ten. Let's see if we can uh, we can get this up to about even. You can see like I said, basic maps map design.
There we go. So we got a headshot. You can see they do have headshots. Another headshot. Oh, I was hoping for a third one, but no. So 9 and 11. Let's see if we can get on this time. Let's see if we can get uh, up to 50%. took him out but he wasn't exactly uh and just like any other first person shooter game as you know the key to first person shooter games is keep moving the more you keep moving the better off you're gonna do ah trying to take out that other guy so 10 and 12 so we, we, we're still two behind to 500 the game is closing in but at least we have taken uh taken the lead i'm gonna cover this guy a little bit there we go ah uh, i love it sometimes you'll take and you'll actually throw a grenade and uh, and you'll die but you'll still get the kill so you have to you have to you have to throw those grenades as often as you can. Bounce it off the wall. That's always fun to do. Take somebody out while you bounce the uh, grenade off the wall. There we go. So we won. 196. Took that guy out for good measure. And there you go. You see blacklist wins. And that person leveled up. You can see I got 49 experience. No bonus. And... Uh, you can see who the MVP was in the last kill, all that good jazz. And there we are back into the back into the lobby of that game. And you can see here's the two different blacklists and global risk. Let's head back out into the lobby. But guys, I don't have enough time for another game. And so you kind of get the gist of it. Like I said, the knock on it will be the older graphics. They do have a ton of different maps as you can see from here. Hit, you know, whether it be the mindset, the sub base, Egypt, the ship we were just on, the factory, Monaco, all these different things, the sewers, prison. And they've got a decent number of game modes, which is always good for a first person shooter game. So it's always nice to see that they do have those game modes. They do have a lot of players that play the game on a regular basis, so it's not hard to ever find a game. A little bit dated graphics, good sound. So those are, that's, those are pretty much my pros and cons on the game. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. And if you'd like to play and, or learn more about Crossfire, you can read our full review on mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching.